my name is Niki and my business is Food is Medicine. I'm preparing to travel internationally and I couldn't find a good video on YouTube about the things that you need for first aid kits. So I, for digestion, that tickle in the back of your throat that lets you know you've got a cold, flu, or a virus coming, or just general things that you can take every day to help boost your immune system in preparation for being exposed to uh, foreign countries. I'm going to China, Thailand, and uh, Cape Town, South Africa. So these are, are places that uh, my body is going to be stressed out. I'm going to be tired and worn down. I'll be exposed to strange things that my body's not accustomed to. Um, being middle-aged means that my immune system is already compromised. And since I have a number of diseases such as Lyme disease and Epstein-Barr virus, my, my immune system is already compromised. So I need to be extra careful. But I wanted to share with you what I'm bringing in my first aid kit. Uh, the first one has to do with digestion. So food poisoning is a very realistic uh, problem that I might run into. So what I'm going to be carrying is charcoal. Uh, charcoal, you could take this whole bottle, it won't hurt you, but if it's in your digestive tract, uh, which is where the bad bacteria gets and then you get sick, usually with diarrhea, dehydration, vomiting, nausea, these sort of things. First of all, if you're sick with uh, throwing up or uh, diarrhea for more than 24 hours, you really need to go and get um, an IV to get rehydrated because you don't want to let that go more than 24 hours. So uh, I would take charcoal at the first sign of anything being wrong. It has um, a charge to it, so it's going to latch onto anything that shouldn't be in your system and pull it out via your bowel. Uh, I take this every day anyway, just as a precaution. Also, it's very good at pulling out any um, heavy metals that might be liberated whenever you eat something like cilantro. Um, so you don't want that to be liberated from, say, your brain, and then it settles elsewhere. So this grabs onto it, and like I said, you could take this every day. Now, if it's in your tissue, uh, which bad bacteria can get in your tissue, I like to use this product called Zeolite. Um, it's very good at latching on to anything that shouldn't be in your body, especially heavy metals, radiation, bad bacteria, and it pulls it out through the urine. So this is for any bacteria that gets anywhere in your body, including your bowel. This is just for the bowel. This is for anywhere in your body. This is a very powerful product. Uh, you take a little tiny dose of it, and it can kill things off and latch onto them and pull them out so powerfully, it'll induce what's called a Herxheimer's effect. This means that it's the die-off of whatever you have in your body is so fast, it's more than your body can deal with, and you, and you end up with symptoms a lot like coming down with the flu. Um, you get sore aches all over your body, you get a headache, you get nausea, you get vomiting, sometimes diarrhea, maybe just a little bit of that, maybe a lot of that. So if you're going to take the zeolite, I would definitely take a tiny bit of it. Um, you can even acclimate your body by taking a little bit now and working your way up. You can take these every day. Um, at precautionarily or you can carry them with you and then use them as a problem comes up but I would definitely start this one uh, a, a month or at least two weeks before you travel so your body is acclimated to this product um, the next one would be Mennonite clay uh, this clay is also a lot like charcoal it's going to go into your bowel and it's going to latch on to anything that shouldn't be there and pull it out um, with all of these products, you have got to drink a ridiculous amount of fluids and not alcohol, water, uh, preferably with lemon or some sort of juice, something like that. Not soda, not beer, not something that's going to make you dehydrated, not coffee, but something that's going to hydrate you. Um, coconut water. I don't like using Gatorade, but if you had to, it's better than, than nothing. Uh, but any of these products, you really need to use a lot of water. Okay, the next thing is you're going to be eating foods that may not agree with you, causing gas, bloating, diarrhea, whatever. And digestive enzymes are a really powerful way to deal with this. Um, they also come in little packets like this. This is uh, critical digestion, which is okay for most people. I like it knock it out of the park stuff. This is knock it out of the park stuff. Um, this uh, digest gold is in incredibly powerful. I don't know if you can see what's in there or not, but um, this is really knock it out of the park. The price tag is going to reflect that as well, but if you, I take four of these before I eat, and then I take four every hour after I eat when I have a digestive issue. Um, and if that's not good enough, then you have repair. Repair you take on an empty stomach, um, and it's going to go into your body and digest all the dead things 
or that should be dead things, all the stuff that's, because you know, your cells excrete and sometimes the excretion can't get out and you get inflamed and you don't feel well and you get really tired, you have malaise, a lot of depression. This stuff is going to go and digest all of that and then pull it out of your system. So I really like taking both of these products. I'm taking about three bottles each because I'll be gone with for uh, 58 days. And then of course, I couple these with the products that I just said earlier. So these are really knock it out of the park products. Of course, as you get older, you have problems digesting because you don't have enough hydrochloric acid. I particularly like this brand of Premier Research Labs um, hydrochloric acid. Um, if you didn't know, salt, preferably uh, a good clean air dried sea salt or Himalayan sea salt turns into hydrochloric acid. So if you don't have enough of the good salt in your system, that other toxic salt that's been uh, heated to 1100 degrees and stripped of all of its minerals is not good for you. It's very toxic. Uh, it is going to give you high blood pressure. Um, you want to use a nice air dried uh, sea salt. I like the Celtic sea salt, the Himalayan sea salt, the Hawaiian sea salt, all those various colors. The reason why they're colorful is because they have minerals in them. And once you eat them, your body turns it into hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is in our stomach and it helps digest our food. It breaks it down. Um, and in case you didn't know, once it gets through the stomach and leaves with the food into your small intestine, your body is very good at recycling, so it takes that hydrochloric acid, it pulls it through the bowel wall into the body, and it gets um, broken down into other parts that your body uses to re replicate cells. So as we get older in particular, or as we're replicating a lot of cells, say in pregnancy or in childhood, we really need the right kind of salt and the right amount of salt, which is different for everybody. But uh, salt's really good. But hydrochloric acid, something else I travel with. I don't take it all the time, but I know if I'm going to indulge in a uh, particularly large meal or something that I'm not familiar with or something that I'm pretty sure is not going to agree with me, like wheat or dairy, then I will uh, take a couple of these with me. Some people, especially 40 plus, we just don't have enough enzymes anymore because we live in America and we eat crap food and we eat a lot of food that is cooked, even if it is good food. Um, so this is a really good thing to have. I'm a vegan, but I still eat a lot of cooked food. Uh, I avoid dairy, but it slips in every now and then. Um, ice cream is my kryptonite, but I try to use the clean stuff. But anyway, this is a good product to have on hand and to travel with. All right, and then finally, we, well not finally, but almost finally, we have a probiotic. I like this Garden of Life brand. It's very powerful. Uh, it's shelf stable. It's expensive. Uh, it's two pills a day, and you take them in the evening. Um, I, well, you could take them any time, but I like to take them in the evening because you usually wake up and have a bowel movement, and that gives this thing stuff all night to do its magic in your, in your bowels. Um, so I like taking the probiotic at night. A probiotic replaces uh, the good gut bugs that are in your gut. They're only actually in the small intestine, the large, in, the, I'm sorry, they're only in the large intestine. The small intestine should be devoid of any bacteria, as far as we know today, and the large intestine is full of probiotics. So this is a really good product to take at night. And then coupled with that is silver. Uh, I don't like this silver in particular. I prefer the meso silver, M-E-S-O, meso silver. You can find them online. A uh, tablespoon in the morning, and then I take a probiotic at night. Uh, the silver is really good for clearing out any sort of bad bacteria you have. A lot of people are concerned about the heavy metal aspect of it. I'm not too worried about it because your body is uh, designed to get rid of the silver that you put in your system in a couple of weeks, unlike mercury or lead, which chemically bonds with the fat in your body, such as your myelin sheath or your brain. So the silver's okay. Um, I like meso silver because it's really clean. You're, it's not gonna do something weird like turn you blue, like some home brew might make, um, and it's really easy to take. Uh, this is liquid, so it's hard to travel with, so I'm not gonna be taking silver with me on this trip because I'm gone for too many days and too many countries, and it's just too much liquid. I can't, I can't deal with it. So I'm not gonna be taking this, but I will definitely be taking the probiotic with me. And let's see. Oh, the last thing is Epsom salt for digestion. Put it in the baggie, label it. It's two to four teaspoons. 
If you've got constipation, this is a really good way to uh, make that move. Um, I know a lot of people get problems when they're traveling because they're stressed out and they clamp down and they can't um, have a bowel movement that gets really uncomfortable after a day or two. And then of course you're eating strange foods or you're overeating. So I prefer that over a um, laxative because a laxative irritates your bowel, which makes it go. But it's also not only an irritant, which isn't good, but it's also a habit forming. So the Epsom salt, what that does is it puts a lot of salt along with magnesium into your bowels and that pulls fluid into your bowels, which um, allows it to be wet enough that it's gonna slide out. Uh, so this isn't gonna hurt your body, plus there's a lot of magnesium, which is a mineral that your body needs. So I, I highly recommend doing Epsom salt over a laxative, um, but you know your body and you know what you like to travel with, so, so we'll go with that. All right, things, that's it for digestion. The next topic is going to be things to take that generally help your body. So I take a multi-mineral, and I really like this Garden of Life vitamin code. Not everybody can take this. Uh, it agrees with my body. I take the one with iron in it because I'm a, a vegan and I don't get nearly enough iron. Um, it has vitamin C, which you need in order to absorb iron. But this is really a, a very powerful product. Now, I go after Knock It Out of the Park products, and this is one of those. This product is so powerful that it has remineralized my body so much that my hair is actually starting to grow back with the natural color instead of gray hairs, which is amazing. That means that my, my tissues are mineralized enough that my hair, nails start growing back normally. Um, some people, I've got a girlfriend that, that tried this and it didn't agree with her at all, so I suggested she take a different variety. They have, I don't know, like 10 different vitamins that you could take, but they're all based on whole foods. They don't have bad incipients like magnesium stearate that's gonna turn into formaldehyde in your cells. This is really powerful. So if you're out drinking, um, it not only kills your brain cells, it severely demineralizes you, which is why you have a hangover. So you need to take a lot of minerals in order to replenish to feel better the next day. Uh, so you could take, um, you know, probably double the dose, maybe triple the dose the next day if you have a hangover for this. Also, if you're under stress, you're traveling, you're eating weird foods, digestion isn't going right, you need every everything you could take. And I really like having a multi-mineral to take along with it. Um, also, you can't eat fresh fruits and vegetables in China, so they're going to all be cooked, which is going to kill the enzymes and it's going to remove a lot of the, the mineralization and vitamins and things that are in it. So I am going to be taking along my green drink. Pretty much any green drink works, whatever works best for you. Uh, this one does not have hemp in it. I'm allergic to hemp, so I can actually take this one. It comes in nice small little packs that you can take like this instead of the big bottle. Um, I'm taking the big bottle because I'm going for almost two months and I need a lot. So I'm going to do that. This is a 30 day supply. Now what I do to knock this out of the park is I add two products. I add spirulina powder to this. And I also add the moringa leaf powder to this. So when I have a scoop of this, I'm really getting a lot of green and a lot of minerals and vitamins all in one scoop. It tastes good. It's flavored with stevia. Um, you can use just pretty much any green drink that you want, um, but I like this one in particular. It agrees with me the most. Okay, that's it for that. Um, the next one is things that you can take every day that help boost your system and mineralize your body. I've quit drinking coffee and I started using this matcha, making a matcha latte, which isn't so easy to do. It takes a little bit of skill to get that happy, but basically it's a concentrated ceremonious green tea rather than the tea bag, so it's concentrate. I do a teaspoon every day. Uh, the dose could be a quarter to one teaspoon. I like this one. And then turmeric. Uh, I really like turmeric. Uh, you want to make sure when you make your turmeric tea, I like to use black pepper because it makes this something like 20 times more absorbable. Um, the nutrients in this as well as a little bit of ginger. So when I travel instead of fresh ginger, I'm going to have to bring powdered ginger and a sweetener. I like to use honey. Uh, I tried monk fruit. I didn't like the flavor, but uh, I do like honey. And you can buy crystallized honey or I figure I can find honey in my travels. It's not a big deal. Uh, but I do this for breakfast every morning. I usually have one of these and then I have one of these. Um, but I tried mixing them and it's perfectly fine. You can mix them up. That would be great. I bought this tool 
uh, which you plug in, and I have an adapter for the various countries I'll be in. You put this in your mug, and it makes hot water or hot milk or hot whatever. So I'll be able to make these while I'm traveling on my own, staying in my hotel room or the hostel or the cruise line, whatever I'm doing. Um, if I had to buy this all over again, I would buy a smaller one. This one's really quite large and heavy, so it knocks over the cup. Um, and this thing that is supposed to hook onto the cup, as you can tell, is really weak. And then there's no on-off switch. It's just the plug, so it's really hard to pull out of the plug outlet. So you've got to somehow hold this and pull this out all at the same time to get this to turn off. And this gets really hot. It'll, it'll burn you. Um, so when I travel, I'll be taking the turmeric and the matcha. If you want to know more about these, you can Google them. People have you know, written great big articles on them. I don't need to tell you all about it. I got this one on eBay and this one I got at Whole Foods. Try and find the best price. All right, if you get feel like that tickle in the back of your throat, so you feel like you're coming down with a cold or a flu or a virus or whatever it is, however it manifests for you, um, there's a number of things you can take. I like to take lauricidin. Lauricidin is the active ingredient in coconut. It's lauric acid. Um, this is just the lauric acid. It's a little fat um, pellet. It comes with a little scoop. You put it in your hand. It looks like a little white pellet. Do not chew these. Just swallow them. Swallow them with uh, uh, not hot water, either uh, room temperature or normal water because it will melt in your mouth. That's not going to be pleasant. Um, this stuff you can take in advance. I suggest you start taking it about a month or two weeks in advance to get your body to adjust to it. Um, and then you can take a scoop every day preventatively and you can ramp it up from there if you feel like you're going to get, if you're getting sick. Um, the first time I took this, I took it because it is an incredibly strong antiviral. Clinical studies show that people with AIDS and HIV that take this bring it down to non-detectable levels. That's amazing right then and there. Of course, as soon as I quit taking it, the virus you know, is able to replicate and it comes booming back. So it doesn't completely kill the virus, but it keeps it under management. Um, it's also just good for the immune system as well as bacteria and antifungal. So this is really good all the way around. Uh, talk about a knock it out of your, out of your park product. When I had the Epstein-Barr virus, I took a quarter dose as my starting, and it gave me a Herxheimer's effect so badly, I was in bed for a week like I had the flu. I mean, it killed it off really strongly. This is why I recommend you take this 30 to 14 days before you travel, because if you if you just take this because you got a tickle in the back of your throat, you could induce that, that Herxheimer's effect could because you have something lurking that you're not even aware of and you're in trouble. Um, so I would take this one in advance. You can buy it at uh, online or lauracedon.com um, and, and get it that way. Uh, the next one is oregano oil. This is really strong, powerful stuff that you can take. I start with lauracedon and I start with, let me go back to this. Uh, I start with this, uh, my community comprehensive immune support. You don't want to take just any mushroom extract. You really want to take one that's either steam or alcohol. Um, produced because that's what's going to make it effective. I really love this host defense product and all of their products. They know what they're doing. It's a high quality product. You're getting the right strain of mushroom. You're getting the absolute perfect right extra, uh, extraction process. And I prefer the liquid form of this over this um, capsule form. But since I'm traveling and keeping my liquids to a minimum, I'm taking the capsule form. Uh, I take two of these every day just to keep my immune system up where it's supposed to be. Um, for what I have, but you could take this along with you and if you feel that tickle, um, this is going to boost your immune system while this is going to kill off whatever it is that you have in your system. So these two work together. These are my primary line of defense for any time I get sick. I take them every day and then I take more if I get that tickle in the back of my throat. And if these two aren't knocking it out of the park, sometimes I just feel like I'm not sick, but I don't feel well and I'm just kind of staying there for a week, I will bump it up to the oregano oil and that'll usually knock it out of the park. The only problem with the oregano oil that I've found, besides burping it up, which is kind of pleasant because you have this nice oregano taste in your mouth, is that if you are menopausal and you're having hot flashes, this is a anti-estrogenic, which means it will displace your estrogen. And if you're menopausal, you don't have nearly enough estrogen and it will induce hot flashes or give you hot flashes. And so will oregano, I mean, um, uh, not oregano, bay leaf. Um, so I only take this when I have an emergency and I have to be prepared to suffer with increased hot flashes. So that's no fun. Um, there's two other products here. 
Uh, this is cough drops. This one's got Manuka honey, which kills bacteria on contact. If you have like um, uh, ulcers in your stomach that are by caused by H. pylori, you can take a Manuka honey and it'll kill it off. Now the number on the Manuka honey lets you know how strong it is. If you've got uh, H. pylori, that 25 plus isn't really going to knock it out of the park. You want more than 25 plus, you're going to be paying money for it, probably $100. Um, and you just, you know, just take it by the spoonful, put it in your tea, however you want to get it in. But um, these are pretty good for killing off whatever bacteria you have on contact. So it'll get into your throat and, and that'll help. Zinc does the same thing. So I like, I don't like that it's got sugar, but you need to have something to make it palatable. Um, so any sort of zinc um, cough drop, if you've got the white green stuff or even just that tickle, that just pop one of these in your mouth. <coughs> Sounds like I need one. And uh, it'll the zinc kills bacteria on contact. Uh, doesn't work so well on fungal or viral, but it does work really well on, on uh, bacteria. Um, so these are things I carry with me. And the final thing uh, would be this nasal lavage. I really like this Dr. Neal over the neti pot. It comes with these little salts, you pour it in, you fill it up to the line, you do your little nasal lavage and it clears out your sinuses. I'm prone to sinus infections, especially when I travel any sort of allergies, uh, and since I'll be traveling to China and Bangkok where there's a lot of air pollution, I'm definitely taking this in a package of these salts along with me. Um, UTIs or urinary tract infection, I love this product. I usually buy two or three cans, I take two scoops um, instead of the one scoop, and I take it much more than advertised, um, I don't even know what it says anymore take four servings a day. So I do four servings a day, but I take double the dosage because my UTIs are usually pretty entrenched and I need to not, need to knock it out. So if, a UTI is not pleasant. It's not pleasant, especially while you're traveling. So of course you need to take something. This works very well. You don't have to take any antibiotics, which don't work very well anyway because it's not very well uh, blood supplied and those bacteria tend to build little hooks and they clip into your um, bladder wall. So when you urinate, they are hooked on there. That's why you can't get rid of a UTI. This has uh, D-mannose in it, which is a sugar that your body doesn't, um, uh, doesn't digest. So it goes right into your urine and the bacteria will go, oh look, there's sugar in the urine. It'll let go of its hook and dive into you, your urine, which is full of sugar that it wants, and then you can urinate it out. But of course you need to drink a lot of water. So you need to be around um, a toilet. I mean a lot. You need to drink like you know more than a gallon a day. Just Keep drinking water. You want to go hold your urine as much as possible. Not as much as you don't want to pee a tablespoon. You want to pee a lot so it flushes the bacteria out. So don't go pee every five seconds. You know, hold it for a while and then um, go pee with as much force as you can to so push and, and really get that out of there. This works for men and women. Obviously, women are the ones that get UTIs um, because we have a shorter urethra. But this is a knock it out of the park product. All right, last product is uh, iodine which people think of for thyroid and nutrition, which is true, but it's also good for anti-radiation because if you have enough iodine in your system, the radiation can't take residence up in your body, especially in the thyroid and other glands that are very, um, uh, what's the word, uh, very fragile. Um, this is uh, the Crohn's Lugal Solution, which I've been taking for a long time. I've got three a quarter left in this bottle probably and I recently switched over to this um, this one that's a nascent iodine and I think it works better I feel like I have more energy things seem to be operating better meaning my metabolism which is really slow because I don't have my thyroid doesn't work and I am menopausal so thyroid slows way down this seems to be working better this is worth traveling with a liquid because it's such an effective product I would start taking this uh, probably two weeks or more uh, before you travel. It's uh, three drops a day, so you don't need very much. It'll last you a long time. It's worth the money. And that's all I have for my first aid kit for traveling. I figure if I need a Band-Aid, I can run down to the local store and grab a Band-Aid. I don't really need to travel with that. But these are going to be hard to find at the last minute, Probably, especially some of these specific pro products like the Loracedin and um, the uh, UT Vibrance. So uh, that's all I got. Thank you.